So you inadvertently hit the delete button and thinking, oh my God, how do I recover this step? Now, if the thought of starting all over again is terrifying you, I completely understand. And in this video, I will show you three workarounds for you to consider to recover your deleted step or steps within the process. So let's jump onto my computer and let's get started. So here we have an existing how-to guide on how to create an out of office email in Outlook on the web. Now, depending upon how many steps you've deleted along with the complexity of the how-to guide, in addition to other factors such as the time you've spent editing the how-to guide, as well as your deadline, it might actually be quicker for you to start again. Now let's have a look at an example to see how we might go about recovering a particular step. So if we just scroll down here, now let's delete step three and see how we might use a workaround in order to recover this particular step. So let's just delete this now. And as you can see here, that third step has been removed from the how-to guide. So let's now have a look to see how we might recover this. Now, the first method I wanna walk through is by creating a new how-to guide. Now, you won't need to complete the entire process. All you need to do is complete the process up until the step that you've deleted. So let's complete a new how-to guide in Scribe. So here we have Outlook open and let's start to capture the process. And once you've completed the process, let's just stop the recording. And now what you will notice is that Scribe's created a new how-to guide detailing the first three steps. Now, given that I deleted step number three, what you can do here is transfer this particular step back into your original how-to guide. Now to transfer a particular step, just click on the box here. Now you can also transfer multiple steps if needed be. All you need to do is just click on the relevant box as it relates to the steps that you want to transfer. So in this case here, I only want to transfer step number three back over to my original how-to guide. And then once you're ready, just click on the arrow button here, copy to, and then use the search field to search for your original how-to guide. And now you will notice that the step that we transferred to the original how-to guide has now dropped to the bottom of the page. So all we need to do now is move this to the top and align it into position. The quickest way is to move this to the top. So let's just click on the box here and use the arrow here to send it to the top. And then click on the dots here on your left-hand side and then move it down to step number three. And there you have it. The third step that you deleted in your original how-to guide has now been recovered. Now, the second method I wanna go through is the ability to duplicate an existing step. This will allow you to use an existing screenshots and make some minor modification to the step. So in this example here, I'll just duplicate this particular step. And now from here, if the existing screenshot or the instruction is similar to the step that you've deleted, all you need to do is tweak the steps here. And then change the location of the target icon. To change the location of the target, just click edit image and click the pen tool. And now just move the target to your desired location and hit done. So here you can see we were able to use an existing step and replicate the step that we deleted. And that might work better for you in some instances. Now the third method I wanna show you is the ability to manually add in a step. So let's just say we've deleted this particular step here where there's reference to clicking on the save button. To manually add in a step, click on the plus icon and click step here. So what you need to do now is add in some instructions. And now what you need to do is manually add in your screenshot. So let's go over to Outlook and then manually take a screenshot. And now we'll just save this onto the desktop. 
And now if we go back to Scribe, to add an image, just click on the icon here, upload your image, and now select Add. Now you may have noticed that the screenshot is out of alignment. To edit the image, just click on the pen tool, and then you can edit the image from here. Now let's just manually add in our circle by clicking on the pen tool, click target, and then add in our target icon here. You can modify the location of the icon by moving your mouse and then repositioning it to your desired location. And then once you're done, hit done. Okay, so let's just scroll down and compare the pair. Now you notice that the original step does have more details. And if I scroll up to the top here, it does provide the reader with enough information to perform this specific task. More importantly, adding the steps manually can save you a lot of time rather than having to go through the process from start to finish. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you also found value out of this video, I'd also like you to consider subscribing to my channel where I'll share more Scribe tutorial and other tips on how you can improve your digital communication at work. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,